With Princess Peach at his side, Mario once again set out, bound for adventure. This time, our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer, Merle. If Merlin was right, then Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But little did he know, the evil works of dastardly Count Bleck awaited at every turn. Welcome to Chapter 2-1! Bogging to Merle's! Hey everybody, Seeky the Kid here, and welcome back to... Super Paper Mario! Why did I delay that? I do not know why. But, welcome to the Gloam Valley. Starting us off, the pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be, but it could be a ways. Let's go. Okay. Certainly, thanks for your help, Tippy. Now, Peach, unlike Mario, as you just heard and saw, ow, Peach actually does have lines of text. That's another thing about the other characters in this game. Now, we actually have a spiked Goomba, which if I can... There we go. That's a, it's a spiked Goomba! Look at that spiky hat! Max HP is one, tag is two. That spiky hat makes stomping on it or picking up a very bad idea. I would recommend throwing something at it. Or you could just walk on by. Of course, we don't need to commit genocide to every single Goomba. Now, Peach is a necessity for this area. This area includes a lot of jumps that are just impossible to make with Mario. Uh, ow. Come on, get out, get out. Uh, don't, don't do that. I'm giving so much trouble just getting out of the water. Ugh. Stupid. No! Yeah, that was that was garbage. Come on, Tippy. Hey! Oh yeah, now you come on screen. Now as soon as I can't get the thing. Hey. Thank you. That's cheap cheap. Like all fish, it lives entirely underwater. Max HP is two, attack is one. That's some long lazily, mining its own fishy business. No important characters, it's a note, it's a fish. Yes, I struggled that long just to show you that. And we have a lock door. It's locked. Yes, we need to just confirm that. Alright. So we need a way up. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we need Peach for this one, I think. Yes, as you can see, we need Mario to flip into 3D to hit these three-dimensional blocks. We got paratroopers. I've already went over them before. Ah! Oh, I didn't even mean to hit the cheat sheet. That's extra. But yeah, I'm gonna switch back to Peach, because I do want to give the new character we have a little bit of screen time, you know? You gotta be fair to everybody. Anyway, no. Anyways, thank you all for waiting. We wanted to go down this pipe. And once upon a time, defeating a bunch of enemies in a room will give you what exactly? A small chest. What a curiosity. Okay. Push one and two together, by the way, to open up the quick menu. I just want to flip into 3D, see if we have anything we do not. Thank you very much. We got the door key. Yes, because I'm a dork. Thank you. Anyways. Now that we got that, we're going to leave this area. We're going to finally go through this door. I'm going to switch back to Peach, because why not? I do also want to say something real quick about the characters in this game. There's always going to be a need for the other characters. Okay. 
before we grab those pow pills, I want to see the Paragoomba. It's a Goomba with wings, a flying underling. It still has one HP and it has one attack. The life of a Goomba, of course. I can just grab and chuck it. I go chunks. Ah. 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 Oh, oh, thanks. On that. Uh, wow! Wow! I didn't even mean to do that. That was actually pretty cool. Anyways, thank you all. The pal pills will change depending on who your character is. Same with the Mega Star. I was completely wrong when I said that the pal pills would become Mario. You can also, if you do it right, you can use a pal pill to kill the Mario if you so want. And no, we cannot go into that, so... me. We're gonna fly over here with Peach, we're gonna ride this thing. And then we're gonna take a leap of faith. And then another. Onto you. I just killed a pal bell by accident. I am so sorry, Mini Peach. Oh, wow. They're, no, 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 they're not following me anymore. They're trying to hunt me down. They're chasing me. Look, even in the background, they're chasing me for killing off one of them. I don't know why the whole group is slow besides this one. Eh, bro. And we made a door! I'll meet you back at the door. We've now arrived at the door. Let us see what's on the other side, shall we? Hmm, the pal bills have joined us. And if I'm right, yep, we get to show off the Mega Star with Peach. Now, welcome to the days of Princess Toadstool. I don't know why, but I think I preferred Peach being a redhead. Hello. I just kind of enjoyed the older stuff. I don't know why. I just think this design suits more of the Mario Kingdom because. Well, that and two. The toads are always red and white, and they sometimes have blue. And I think that if Peach stayed with this, it would make a lot more sense for her to be known as, you know, the princess essentially of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's the reason why I just enjoy that design of her a little bit more. So we have arrived at one of these walls. I'm gonna flip. We don't have anything. I'm gonna go into the door. We're gonna be Peach because, like I said, I want to give everyone some screen time. Mario had the whole first chapter. We want to dedicate as much of this chapter to Peach, as we are slowly gonna be allowed to be about slow. We got the slow flower, which is basically the opposite of that fast flower. As you can see, we gain a lot of money. And you know, if you do it right, it will make platforming easy. Why would I do that? Oh god. Money! Mm -hmm. Chuck it! Oh, I grabbed his rock and didn't even mean to. Uh, oh, we got a new enemy. This is a rob, a Jabba's. Thought it was a Robus. Never mind. They tend to bite anything near them. Max HP is five. Attack is one. Its only weakness is the glowing spot on its back. It won't look behind. So try flipping near three D and sneak it behind it. Or essentially, what you can do is you can leave. Use throw. If you use throw at the right time, you can grab before transport. Oh no, you can't. I thought you could. Ow. You can see its neck will extend to make sure you can't get around it. And we're going to go into this pipe. Something about this room just doesn't seem right, so why don't we use Tippy? Oh no, I don't care. There's a switch. Even if you can't see, you can still activate it. We want to do that. We got another pipe. What's in this pipe? Is it another pipe? No, it is an experience gun. I mean, a Gromiba. It can clone itself over and over again. 
Attack your HP is two and attack is one. If you defeat the main one, the clones will die. The primary one has slightly different moves and looks, so watch closely. If you don't want to bother, you can defeat them all with an item. Now, I do also want to make mention, this Paper Mario game is kind of unique in the terms that it uses words like die. What other kids games do you know that allow them to keep using words like that, especially for a game that's only rated E10? I mean, not even Smash Brothers really say die. Anyways, the reason why these guys I like to call experience grinders is for one reason. As you saw, I killed a clone with another clone and I gained experience off it. You let this thing grow out and eventually you can gain a ton of experience. I'm gonna just grab one and be ready. Ow. He you will not, I wanted to also show you do not get any points at all if you um, do that. Okay, we're gonna turn to Mario. Cause I, nah, what we teach? Cause I'm not sure if any dialogue is said, and I thought I would do something funny. Shaboom! A oh, saboom, excuse me. Good vibes, some vibes. Set off my blow up stuff, Sansa's. You like exploding to pal? I ain't seen real good blow up stuff vibes in 1500 years, saboom. I got check those vibes out a little more close, like. Scrack! Check out, just an answer a couple questions we could. Splam! Me. Peach is so confused. Here we go, Sabuamo! You stay up wondering if anyone gives presents to Santa Claus. Uh, totally. I'm gonna just make Peach sound completely wrong. Somebody should clean your room before test. Absolutely. Someone says, let's just be friends, you think? Yeah, whatever. No doubt! You don't really understand why I'm asking you all these questions. True or then true? I can just imagine Peach saying it with that stupid smile. You who think shopping online is a wonderful magical experience. Nintendo promoting online sales? Right on, dude! You want to put a shirt inside out but didn't bother reversing before going out. All the time! You want to be sleeping when you're awake but when you're tired you want to wake up. Always! No, not exactly! Always! Getting real tired of these questions. Um, yeah. So just shut up. Got it, got it, got it, sub You got some tasty vibes, sublam! Mine's right out now, sublabo! You guys are worthy of my power! Hello, Boomer! The exploding pistol named Boomer! Join your party. You're supposed to join your party, not become your friend. Use Boomer's round of all foes and short blocks. When you want to switch pixels, go to the pickle menu and pick another one. Pickle menu. I said pickle. I did not say pixel. That's kind of funny. Each second explodes into the next. Bamo bombs away. Anyways, you now have the ability to switch our pixels. We can select throw or boomer, which also work really well together. Now I do want to show a small glitch. It's not usual that I do this type of thing. Blow cracks in the wall. If you are to go into this room and flip back, the chest in the center will go away. What's even funnier about this is, for some reason, this is not a permanent effect. Once you leave the room and come back, this glitch can never happen again. It will only ever happen the first time you get Boomer, as I'm going to show you. By entering this room again and trying to do the glitch, the glitch will never happen again. It is only specific to when Boomer is gone out of the chest, and it's really, really, you know, kind of strange. It's really, really kind of. Yeah, my word choice today. I'm sorry, I just woke up, so if I'm a little loopy right now, don't mind that. But, I think that we just found a way to take care of these guys. You can flip into 3D or you can just put Boomer down and boom. Really? Boomer will also do as you saw, we have 
2 damage as our output, but he does 4. Boomer, and another character, does double damage. And when I say that, I mean he does double damage, then your current character's damage. Okay, so not for spoilers, but there is a character later on who naturally has double damage. We have a spike Boomer, now we can take care of these guys with Boomer. Another fun fact I'd like to say is that you can put Boomer down, switch to throw, you can pick up Boomer's bomb, and you can toss it. Usually it'll explode before, you know, it goes anywhere, but yeah, if you're if you're quick enough, you can throw it. I don't know why you can't just do that naturally. But hey, the game has to have its reasons. And we got a brand new enemy. These things are something that I love. This is a slurp. This tough skin and an appetite for everything. Max B is unknown. Attack is two and defense is unknown. No attack will work. But slurps are just as fragile on the inside as they are tough on the outside. Maybe you should try feeding it something that will give it indigestion. It's saying we want to say goodbye to Boomer forever. And he's back. You know, it's amazing. I just made I just found the bomb that can explode infinitely. You know, I wonder how many Legend of Zelda games this would be very useful in. Probably a lot. We got another one of these creatures. We're gonna blow them up. Now, in case you're wondering, these guys have, I believe in the game's code is infinite, or I think it's one HP. But since they have infinite, oh, damn it. well, there you go, there's, there's the thing showing that if you use your, if you just grab a coin in 2D when there's more layers in uh, 3D, you're gonna take them all without actually gaining both the coins. I wish it wasn't that way, personally. I don't really like that, it's kind of stupid to me. Anyways, there's a reason why we're going through all this. Because, well, we need to. Going through all these doors. Huh? Alright, oh, right, 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 right. right. I, I know, I know what I did. But, unfortunately, guys, we're ending. We're. Yeah, ending. We're getting to the end of this episode. I just blew up the block, didn't I? Also, we get a boomer right there. Now, I do want to get past this little bit here before we end it off. So, yeah. That was awfully rumbly. Now, the only reason why I'm not playing is Peach here is because we need to do a lot of 3D shenanigans. And sorry, Peach, but only Mario can do that. By the way, I've heard the rumors. There is no such thing as three as a 3D pixel. It just doesn't exist. Now we got a yellow door. And as you can see in the background. Ah! These guys have the same bio as the uh, blue one bio last time. Oh god! Now before we do anything, when we flip into 3D, you have a little picture. Not only do you have a new enemy. If Tippy wouldn't mind. That beast is a swooper. It likes to dangle from the ceiling in dark, dank places. So it likes dank memes, eh? Max HP is three and attack is one. Oh, great. I couldn't kill it. I would swoop back down after it swoops down. So, jump on it when you can. In this chest, we have... The Slurp card, which is completely useless because we can never kill those... Guys, besides one hit. Wow, they just want to be out of there. Ah! And in this chest, we have the super card. Thank you. Boop. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. This is the end of chapter 2 1.